Welcome back to another thrifting video. This week we're in Dartford again. A quick side note, ignore my face. I think I've had an allergic reaction to something. But hopefully we find some good stuff here. We normally do in Dartford. If that scope charity shop's open, we will 100% find something good. But before the scope charity shop, I headed into this Eleanor charity shop, which is at the top end of the town. I don't think we've actually ever started here. I don't know why, because it makes the most sense to start here. But the first thing that I come across in here, which I thought was interesting, was that massive like jack daniels bottle if like the sticker on the front wasn't so crimpled i probably would have picked this up because it was literally only five pounds and i thought this was really cool but then i started to go through the clothes and there weren't really too much in there there was a lot of like zara and just asos stuff nothing really too extraordinary i did come across this lacoste sport polo though which looked all right it looked like it was more of like a golf one then there was this tommy hill figure one as well i thought this looked a little bit suspect the badge looked a little bit too low and the as well the stitching on the badge was awful they also had two umbro polos which i quite liked i was kind of tempted to get the blue one because it was in my size but i just thought i'm never gonna wear that they also had a very suspicious hugo boss polo for exactly the same reasons as the tommy hilflinger one the stitching was awful and the position of the badge was really weird but that was it for this charity shop so i headed out of there and headed down to the rspca charity shop past one of my favorite shops in dartford the organic shop which i ended up getting a vegan muffin in after I went in the RSPCA charity shop. I had big hopes for this charity shop because last time we came in here, we got some really sick stuff, like those police jeans that we picked up, which I still need to upload to my Depop, which I haven't done yet. But to continue the trend of suspect Tommy Hilfiger, we came across these Tommy Hilflinger shorts, which looked awful. The stitching was just horrendous. I then found a pair of Levi's, which were perfectly in my size, and as well, they were pretty much my favourite colour of jeans. And as well, they were even a straight leg fit but then i looked at the buttons on the front of the jeans and it didn't have one it was just a massive hole and i think they were still charging like seven pound for them surely they are pretty much worthless at that point i then went to go look at the cds and i've just realized what the sign said it said 10 for one pound 10 cds for one pound are they crazy that that's such a good deal i wish i would have had a proper look through the cds now i literally really skimmed them because i just see the one pound I thought, ah, oh, it must be one pound per CD. But we are uh, headed out of there and I headed down to the best charity shop in Dartford, which is the Scope Charity Shop. I started off by looking through the shoes and I look on the bottom shelf and I'm thinking, they look like Alexander McQueen's. I thought, nah, they're just going to be a pair of ASOS ones. And then I look at the back and they say Alexander McQueen. I was actually so shocked. I don't know how authentic they were because I don't know how to legit check Alexander McQueen. They were really beat though. That like they had a lot of creasing and a lot of wear and everything like that to them. And as well, the colorway was horrendous. But they were fifty pounds, which really isn't that bad for Alexander McQueen's. But for the condition and the colorway, I weren't gonna be paying that. But then I started going through the jumpers and everything like that, and there weren't really anything in the jumpers, so I moved on to the jeans. My GoPro didn't film it, but there wasn't really anything too extraordinary in the jeans. I think there was like two or three pairs of Levi's, and the rest of them were pretty much just like asos jeans had a quick little look through the shirts nothing really in there either i then went to go look at the jackets and the coats and everything like that because normally in here they have a really good selection of them and today was no different they had this jumper it was almost like one of them like bin bag jumpers i really like these it reminded me of the one that stone island brought out a little while ago i don't know how long ago it was now but if it was maybe like a black i would have considered picking it up but it was like a really awful green and as well this over shirt was really nice uh, this was the one I was tempted to buy it more than any other because it was really thick and I really like like the checkered design on it. I'm not normally the greatest fan of the zip up over shirts but the thickness and the quality of this really swayed me. But the only thing I didn't like about it it had one of the, like the day social logos from ASOS on the bottom and as well like the ribbon around the end of the sleeves and around the bottom of the jacket. It was like a really dark brown and it just didn't go with the jacket at all. It was really strange. I was really disappointed because I really like the rest of the jacket but i then had a quick skim through the t-shirts there's some decent graphic t-shirts in here but nothing really to shout about so i headed out of there and headed down to the british heart foundation charity shop which last time we got them high top levi's out of so hopefully this time we will find something else that good but i started off by going through the jumpers and the t-shirts and there weren't really anything too interesting in here i then went to go look through the jeans and i was praying that they still had those like red tag levi jeans that we see in the last episode 
world. Deep down, I knew they weren't going to be there, but I had hope. I had a lot of hope. But unsurprisingly, my dreams were shattered. But I then moved on to like the jackets and that, and I found this like varsity jacket, rain jacket thing. It was won by Penguin. It was kind of cool, but I weren't going to buy it. No shoes in this charity shop today, unfortunately, but they did have this motorcycle pizza wheel chopper thing. Well, then once again, I went to go look at the CDs because I've been trying to buy some cool CDs or find some cool CDs recently to put on my wall because I've been taking out like the little paper bit at the front and using that as almost like a little poster to put on my wall. I think it looks really sick, personally. I was really tempted to get this banana one because I really really thought the graphic on the front was pretty cool but I don't know who the artist is so I weren't gonna buy it. But I ended up heading out of there and heading in to the Eleanor charity shop which last time we found quite a few interesting things in. And the first thing we found was this Elvis like graphic t-shirt. It had all like the sequins on it and as well it had like a signature of Elvis on it. It obviously wasn't his actual one. It was just like a printed one but it was still quite cool. It was an interesting t-shirt. But apart from that, that is all this charity shop had. So I headed out of there and headed to the Mary curry charity shop which never has come through in the past but i had hope today i thought yeah it's gonna come through today i'm gonna find something and very surprisingly it did i found this harley davidson t-shirt which had like thailand on it 100 is not a legit harley davidson t-shirt because the tag was a funky tease tag but i really liked the thailand like graphic on it right i am back to the car and i have got my harley davidson t-shirt which it reckons is from thailand who knows how accurate that is i don't think is very accurate to be honest i don't think it's from thailand but let's head now to crayford and hope we find some more stuff and we start off in crayford at that massive cancer research charity shop it's almost like a mega store but we started off on this rail and i found this lacoste polo in a really nice green and it was only three pounds i think it was one size too big for me i think i'm a six or a five in the lacoste polos and this was like a seven but i then moved on to the jeans and there really weren't anything in the jeans so i moved Moved on to the rest of the t-shirts and the polo shirts and the first thing i come across was this 10th anniversary mo runner t-shirt i quite liked it i thought it was really cool but the next t-shirt that i come across was this t-shirt which i did pick up it had this really sick graphic of this guy on it in like a purple and an orange it had some text underneath it as well which i'll show you better at the end of the video i also come across another hot tuna t-shirt i don't know if this is the same hot tuna t-shirt that we found in here last time or another one but i thought it it was cool then come across this like homer simpson graphic like sweatshirt thing i thought it was really cool if it wasn't like a weird like fluffy material and it was just a sweatshirt i probably would have bought this but as i said i weren't the greatest fan of the fluffy material had a look through the shoes in here i thought these shoes were going to be like a high-end designer shoe i think they kind of reminded me of the giuseppe high tops i think oh, i haven't heard about giuseppe's in a long time they also had a pair of primark vans in here which heavily juked me but for that charity shop that was it so i headed out of there and headed down to the eleanor charity shop which became semi-famous on my tiktok so hopefully we can find stuff in here again which will uh, get me them kind of views but today literally the only interesting thing that i found in here was this t-shirt it was really sick to be fair like the print on it was really mad i tried to look this up on ebay but i literally could not find anything about it it was a really sick graphic t-shirt though well that was very successful the eleanor charity shop not so much but they cancer research one massively this is so sick i had one of these on my amazon like wish list and for only three pounds that's a steal and the same with this t-shirt this t-shirt is mad but i really do hope you have enjoyed this episode of come thrift with me and i really do hope to see you in another one